U.S. President Donald Trump called Saudi King Salman to ask for an explanation. The reply suggested that if Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi was killed inside the Saudi consulate in Turkey, the hitmen were rogue killers. The king firmly denied any knowledge of it. He didn't really know. Maybe, I, I don't want to get into his mind, but it sounded to me like maybe these could have been rogue killers. Who knows? But it was only 13 days after Khashoggi disappeared that the Saudis let Turkish police inside the consulate, hours after a cleaning crew. And three sources told NBC News that Saudi leaders are discussing a plan to admit that Khashoggi was killed during an interrogation that went wrong, according to one. President Trump is sending Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to Saudi Arabia to get answers. But despite the king's denials, experts say nothing like this would happen at a Saudi consulate that his son, the powerful crown prince, did not order. It would be inconceivable that such an operation would be run by the Saudis without the knowledge of the day-to-day -day decision maker of Saudi Arabia. That's uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Congress is demanding that the Saudis are banned from buying U.S. weapons. But Mr. Trump says that would hurt American workers. And for now, the European Union, too, is also taking a softly, softly approach. We expect transparency. We expect full clarity uh, from uh, investigations to be done uh, by the Saudi authorities together and in full cooperation with the Turkish authorities. Uh, we support very much uh, the uh, messages that come along the same lines from other partners, starting from Washington. Turkish investigators left the consulate in the early hours of this morning. The international community awaits their findings with great interest. Richard Good, Euronews.